Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. First of all, in terms of uh, the amazing thing that Whitey Bulger has been captured, like many Bostonians, I assume that the FBI had executed him a long time ago. So it's just amazing to me that they actually captured him. Uh, so <clears throat> wonders never cease. Maybe the Pakistanis will turn away from their support of the war on terror. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about uranium this morning. What we're seeing is the Germans have a claim that they are going to be out of nuclear power in the next 11 or 12 years. Uh, we believe that this is not going to be possible for several reasons. First of all, they don't have the money to replace the power. In other words, you're going to have to build a whole bunch of power plants or solar power or uh, wind power <coughs> options in order to effectively uh, replace your nuclear power your nuclear power system. Secondly, it is expected that since all the nuclear power uh, reactors in Germany are built under contract with specific uh, licenses granting them the opportunity to operate, that uh, the German attorneys uh, will soon be uh, raising, as it were, solar cane in the courts in Germany uh, because the government is now, in effect, in attempting to be in violation of its own contracts. <laughs> uh, thirdly, uh, the German situation primarily seems to have been driven by uh, German political fears. In other words, that Merkel was going to lose her parliamentary majority. So as that evolves, don't be surprised to see the German government backtrack for these three reasons on its cessation of nuclear power. Secondly, <coughs> we want to go back to review uranium in general. Uranium in general is colored by a couple of facts. Here's a fact. We need 180 million pounds of uranium to satisfy current demand. There's a 45 million pound shortfall. What that means is the price of uranium is going to go up. I noted yesterday that despite all the hoo-ha and every and all the countries reviewing their policies and all this kind of stuff all around the world, the price of uranium on the contract basis went down one dollar from seventy-four dollars to seventy-three dollars. The other factor to keep in mind is demand will continue to increase. In other words, there are a lot more nuclear plants coming online in the next four or five years. Where is the uranium going to come from? Well, eventually it's going to come from more uranium mining, but for the next four or five, maybe even six or seven years, the demand is going to continue to outstrip supply. So as we look at uranium, and tomorrow or Monday, we will actually give specific stock recommendations. But I thought it was so important to go back over where we actually are before we select specific stocks. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Anything's possible if Whitey Bulger is captured. Have a great day. Keep swinging.